which is insane. And I really can't believe it. So we basically have to start packing. Okay, so long story short, our lease is ending here in this apartment, and we are moving back to Miami. So we're really excited, and the past few days have been like a whirlwind of trying to find apartments, and basically since the long-term move, our movers are picking up our stuff on Friday, next Friday, so a week from today. I I would just vlog this weekend since it's our last weekend here, and then maybe a little bit into next week, obviously like when we're packing and stuff. So that's the plan. We're gonna go get coffee right now and I might pick up something for breakfast because we really like don't have that much here right now and we don't wanna buy a lot because obviously we're gonna have to get rid of it. So we're also trying to sell a lot of our furniture, which we've been doing a pretty good job at. We just have a few more things. And that's basically it. So let's go get coffee because I'm so tired. It's to the left. Please be open, please be open, please be open. They're open. Okay, we just got back from our little errands. Um, we stopped at Voyager Espresso, which is my favorite coffee place. I think I've shown it in vlogs like a few times. It's a little hole in the wall place that's under this like office building and it's kind of like near where you go to enter the subway and only open on the weekdays. So I like to go on Fridays and um, they know me now by name. Well, not by name, but they know me now. They recognize me because I always ask for the space only with um, the space only in a small cup because you get less syrup and less milk. So it's like a little bit stronger. And so they know me now and I just love them. They're like the sweetest. It's definitely hands down my favorite coffee in the city. 100%. Love them. Coffee's so consistent every single time. And then we also stopped at Zucker's really quick. And I was getting a clip of the bagels in there. And then they were like, take a picture of us. It's really nice in there too. But I got an everything flavor. I was just feeling it today. So, um, because I have some frozen... This is my last one of Just Egg Patty. So Just Egg is like the vegan egg substitute and normally I would make the scrambled one, but I actually prefer the patty and it's so easy. You just put it on a pan, you put it in a toaster. We actually don't have a toaster um, for like seven minutes and then you melt cheese on it and I'm gonna toast the bagel and I'm gonna have a little breakfast sandwich and then I'm gonna maybe change, I don't know, it's like really, really hot out and head out on some errands today. Just walk around a little bit. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna make this breakfast really quick. So I just put one slice of this Whole Foods 365 brand plant-based cheddar. This is the best vegan cheddar, honestly. I like it better than BioLife and Follow Your Heart. It's so good. What? No, it's not. Um, I could literally eat this on its own. It's so good and it's half the price of the other brands. And then I'm just gonna put some of these microgreens on it. And that's it. So I put, I opened up the like just egg patty and put a little bit of the cheese on the inside and then a little bit on top. And then I'm gonna toast the bagel now. Lower East Side. I might walk around a little bit. Um, there's some just random stores that I want to go into. Although I really can't buy anything, obviously, because we're moving and we're spending a lot of money right now. So I just changed my shirt because I just wasn't feeling the other one. So I'm just wearing this like little um, halter top. And I have my tote bag just in case I want to get like water or something. And I'm just going to go for a little gander, a walk around. Hal has a little work Bye. meeting Bye. and um that's it so i'm gonna head out and i will bring you along with me and we'll see what i get into today i have my coffee here i like stopped drinking it because i was eating and i just filled it with more ice so i'm gonna bring this with me 
show the vlog what I got. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, I literally got one thing. Don't yell at me. I had to because I've had my eye on this for a really long time. And I figured I might as well get it now because it was on sale and we could just travel with it. It's totally What I tell fine. you about sales, they're traps. It was $6. They're traps. Don't be a weenie. I don't really want to unwrap it because it's nice to get. But basically, I've been wanting this for a long time. It's super simple. It's a little ceramic berry colander. So instead of shitty plastic colanders for my fruit, I could put it in these little things. I got two of them. So cheap. For $6 each? Yeah. It was $12. Yeah. Normally, they're like $24. And I can't wait. It's gonna look went, Where did I go? I went all over Soho, but um, I went to Abode, which is like a home goods store. It's so cute. I wanted everything. Um, what else? What else did I do? I went to Crate and Barrel. I went to Doll's Kill, which just opened. I showed that was insane. It was like there was like a security guard letting people in, and they only let a few people in at a time. And it was two stories, and it was like a dark warehouse. I love that store. It's like so weird. And the upstairs was all Halloween stuff. So I loved that. And I picked up a summer roll to eat for lunch because we're going to be like out and about later and probably won't eat dinner until way later. So I'm going to do that now. I'm like, I just sat on the couch for a little bit and cooled down because it's really hot out. And I'm going to go to the gym right now just to get a little workout in. And then we're gonna go do something later. I don't know, we might meet up with friends or something like that. So that's the plan. Um, I'm just gonna go to the gym right now and do some cardio. Much later now, we went to the gym. I went a little bit before he went and came back. And I've literally just been sitting here on the couch for the past like few hours. Um, but it is 6.45, wow, it's getting late. Um, and I ate, did I forget to vlog? Oh my God, I forgot to show what I got. So when I was walking home, I picked up a, a spring roll. When I was coming home, I picked up a spring roll from Le Botanice, um, as like a little lunch snack and showered and got dressed. So we're heading out right now to go to one of our friends, um, like opened up a, what, like a rooftop bar? situation at um on top of the Bowery Hotel so the opening was last night and so we're going to that today so that'll be fun and then after we're gonna go to our friend's apartment in Brooklyn and hang out with them we might like order dinner and just like drink wine and stuff we're gonna see them because this is our last weekend here so um we'll probably like this will be our last time seeing them until we leave no we're so busy during the week. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty hot out today, so I am just wearing jean shorts and this white tube top and then this little, like, I don't, the lighting is so bad in here. But I'm wearing this long sleeve, like, button-up top from Amazon. It's actually a Pepper Mayo dupe. I have the matching dress that I actually got from Pepper Mayo. And I was like honestly shocked when I got this in the mail because the look of it is spot on. It looks identical to the Pepper Mayo one. I'll put a side by side of what they look like, but um, the only difference is the fabric. So like this one's definitely a little bit cheaper, but you can't really tell at all. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I'm just gonna bring this little purse 
And I'm probably not going to bring the camera because, I don't know, it's nighttime. So I'll just vlog on my phone. And yeah, it'll be fun. And then I have to work tomorrow, so we're just going to like take it easy. You're and take it easy. I'm a party. You are? Hell yeah. When? I don't know. Why something? Okay. Um, and then I don't know what we're going to do Sunday, but yeah. Let's go. How are we getting there? Where? To the Bowery Hotel. Um, we are currently walking to get breakfast and basically yesterday I was working all day so we um, didn't really vlog a lot at all actually um, I just like worked and went um, laid out on the roof a little bit and then yesterday evening we went to our friend's apartment and um what did we do? We had wine. Oh, we had wine on the roof. Burritos. And we ordered dinner. And we got Mexican. They ordered from, I don't know what the name of the place was, but I got the spot. There's one in on St. Mark's and there's one in Brooklyn. And it was literally the best burrito I've had in so long. So that was amazing. And um, this morning now, we are going, Powell wants a bagel. And I'm really craving a just egg croissant sandwich. So we're going to get him a bagel first and then I'm gonna to go to Orchard Grocer. And then we have to go to Home Depot to pick up boxes because Maybe. we ordered them on Amazon and they weren't delivered yesterday and we need to we start packing. Well, how, what are we gonna go home and then go back yeah. out? Yeah, what else have we got to do? I guess, but we had to start packing today because obviously we're gonna be working the rest of the week. Tomorrow we're going to Planta. Oh yeah. Yeah, we have to start today. I think I'll be more focused today if we do it. Okay. And that's the plan. So we've got a lot to do today. And we're gonna take you with us. So first we're taking the subway to Brooklyn Bagel, like we always do on Sundays. It's like a ritual at this point. Only us would go like- Out of the way. Out of the way. Is a, yeah, I know, there's like a perfectly good bagel place right near us. But, it's not but it just good. doesn't hit. Zucker is like, good. thank you for being there, but. You're right now because while we were gone I actually sold it on Facebook marketplace so it's been like listed for like a few days now for a hundred dollars and finally sold it so she's coming to pick it up right now so we're gonna take it apart because she asked if we could so I'm just gonna clean it and then we're gonna we're kind gonna of like wrap it, it up nice what are you gonna take it apart me we're gonna take it apart sometime. I'm gonna watch and morally support you um, and we're gonna wrap it nice for her and get a hundred dollars for it. So love that. So we're gonna take this apart right now. And our boxes weren't delivered, so we need I to go. I'm gonna be so happy to work. Take 
future me. Okay, how should I put this in the box? So we were gonna go plant uh, tomorrow because of the deal that they do for sushi on Mondays. But we've been eating their sushi a lot lately and we want other things because it's the planta queen and every planta is different. They have like a different menu and most of them have the sushi and the Miami one has the sushi and we always get that there. So we're gonna get other things that we can't necessarily get at that one. So, we decided to go today. So that's where we're headed right now. We made so much progress moving though, or packing. Okay. <laughs> we did the entire living room. I did most of my clothes. I just have our dresser. We did all of our shoes and both closets. So all we have to do is the dresser and the kitchen and the bathroom and then we're done. So, most of yours. Yeah, and that's easy. I can do that tonight. Um, the bathroom is like the only thing I'm concerned about. Not concerned, but it's just going to be annoying. And that's it. So, very happy that we did that because the rest of the week is going to be easy. just like hectic and whatever. So, we, it's easy now. We don't have to do anything. So The worst is over, basically? Yeah. We're taking the NQR because Planta is on 28th Street. So... tell it is an actual hurricane in here we are officially we are officially leaving this apartment tomorrow I fly out tomorrow afternoon and our movers come tomorrow morning so we have a lot to do tonight um, the past few days have just been literally wake up work pack sleep so I have not vlogged at all because it's been very boring and every time we're packing it's like 11 o'clock at night because we just like muster up the energy later um but we definitely made progress although it still looks like a mess in here um it's kind of complicated though because we're not going directly to our apartment because obviously it's like we're coming from new york and going to miami and since it's a long distance move it's not like direct move this area right here is stuff that i'm bringing to my mom so i just have like my suitcase and like extra random stuff and then everything in this room is going to be packed up by the movers. So we just removed the rug in here because we're selling it to one of our neighbors. The closet's empty. This is full of clothes. I packed it with some of my stuff because we ran out of boxes. And like everything in here, I'm taking like that with me. And then like anything left over is just like honestly trash. So um, we've been trying to sell this desk on literally every platform facebook marketplace let go everything and no one wants it so we might be throwing it out which is kind of sad but we definitely don't want to pay for the movers to take it with us because we originally bought it on facebook marketplace so it's just like not worth it 
This is a box of like spices and stuff that we're shipping to my mom's because I don't know something about like leaving it with the movers. I don't know like what the temperature is going to be in the moving whatever truck for that many days. So it's like spices and stuff. So we're just going to ship it to my mom's. Um, and then this is all stuff that we like don't really know what to do with. So it hurts me to throw out, but we don't need it and we don't want to take it with us. So I think we're going to give it to our neighbor because he's coming to buy this black rug. So I think we're going to like honestly ask if he wants to like give us 10 bucks for it or something. Um, if not, we'll just honestly give it to him. So I have like my blender, this little jar. We have some cutting boards, some shelf stable almond milk, Aperol and Ziploc bags. And then this little shelf because it's just like too annoying to bring with us. And then this um, spice rack. We're going to throw out our air fryer because it's kind of seen better days. And honestly, that's about it. Everything else, the movers are going to package up nicely themselves. So we've got to get to organizing this. And then I think we might take a little break and go for dinner. I don't know where, but that's the plan. So we will keep you posted on what's happening. And I'm honestly like so glad that this is happening right now because I can't stay in this apartment like this any longer. I need to get out. I've been working from this apartment all day and I have like no desk, nowhere to sit and it's literally killing me. So I honestly can't wait to leave at this point. <laughs> what? Yep. Ow! <laughs> Side town. We're lost in Side Town. We just finished dinner and it was so good. We ended up going to Bar, Bar Verde. We're actually not lost. We're actually really? right on the right track. Which way? We just passed it. We have to oh, go this way. Perfect. Um, we went to Bar Verde, which is like one of my favorite vegan Mexican restaurants in the city, and it just happened to be on our way um, to our friend's house. So we stopped there for dinner. We stopped there for dinner and got burritos and margaritas and it was so good. And now we're inside town saying hi to our friend before we leave. And then we're gonna head home. But it was a very successful evening. We ended up selling the couch and our desk. No, not the couch. My Why did I just say couch? We ended up selling the, the chair, my chair, desk chair and, and, and the my desk. desk. So major, major progress very happy about it so we sold everything that we wanted to sell which is honestly amazing because we did not think that we would be able to do that so very happy about it so very happy about it how are we getting home now fucking the blue blues. yeah i'm not it's hot as hell it is so hot oh, no. we walked all the way from five to side is, it's the next morning and it is officially moving We got home pretty late last night because we ended up hanging out with our friend after dinner and like packing up a little bit when we got home. So we're going to go head out right now and get bagels, obviously. And then we have to sell a few more things. We're selling these hangers and this rug. And then we have to do a few more random things and then the movers come. So we need to get on it. It's like pretty early. It's like nine o'clock right now. So we've got to get moving. Okay, we were just chatting about our dinner last night because it was delicious. Um, but basically, we went to Bar Verde and I am a little bit annoying when it comes to ordering at restaurants because I always like to change things, which is like, I understand it's not the right thing. Like it's not what you're supposed to do at a restaurant because especially like restaurants like that where they like carefully curate the menu and stuff. But, so basically I wanted the quesadilla, but the quesadilla had mushrooms, so I simply asked if they could sub the mushrooms for a different vegetable. Like, I think that's, like, fine. And he was explaining that they can't do that because the chef the makes the menu. He just didn't want to ask. Like, I know that they can do that because they can do that with everything else. Like, it's not a pre-made, like, place. And so he, like, basically told me that they couldn't. At first he said he could ask, and then he just, like, refused to ask. He was nice, though. And... Long story short, I was like, I'm not arguing, like, whatever. 
So we ended up getting the burritos, and they were... Subway? So, yeah, and you Oh wait, I guess we're taking the NQR. Yeah, we should take the No, it's the weekday, it's fine. Both got burritos. And what I was saying to Powell about Bar Verde that's good about it is that the portion size, I feel like, like for most restaurants, like you pay $20 for a meal and then it's not, it's not enough. Like it doesn't, it's not like worth the $20 of what you paid for that meal. But Bar Verde specifically, I feel like is worth it. Don't you agree? Yeah. It's like the size of there. Like for twenty dollars, which is still a lot for a burrito, it's a massive burrito, and the quality is there. They give you a salad on the side, so I really like it. And then we also got a half pitcher of a margarita, which he told us was six. There was like actually six drinks in that. Yeah. <laughs> like I was feeling it, but it was really good. We got a passion fruit one, and now we're going to get oh. coffee. So. And then we have a few other things to do. We have to do like, I have to print the labels to label the boxes because we haven't done that yet. And um, we have to take apart the bed, like random you things have to like take that. Apart the bed. We have to throw away the bed frame. Do we not? Yes, but we don't have to take it apart. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. for the movers but it's pretty much all packed it feels so weird in here I'm so tired mm -hmm. 